What is up there guys, this is Cole, welcome back to... Well, I'm saying welcome back as if we played it recently, but fuck it. Third Age Total War, the Divide and Conquer sub-mod. Alright man, I've been thinking about playing this game again uh, quite a lot recently. Let's just go ahead here and third, uh, hit Third Age campaign, rather. Thinking again about playing this game a lot recently. Um, and I've been debating a lot over which faction I'm gonna play. I'm thinking... We're going to go with the Variags of Kand in this playthrough. We've done lots of playthroughs of the Dunlendings. Why I do love the Wild Men of Dunland, they're just fucking crazy, man. Um, and they're a really fucking weak faction, really. So it's like you've got to play super careful and stuff like that. Um, but we've played a lot with these guys. We tried with Isengard, we got our asses kicked by Fangorn. It was just, it was, it was not even a challenge. Like 36 Ents attacked Isengard, killed like 900 of my Urukai, and fucking. I killed like one end. It, it was awful, man. We just got we, we, we got annihilated. I'm thinking the Variags of Khand. Why? Because I never really played a cavalry heavy faction before. Um, you start off all the way down here, so it's like Harad is over here, and then to the north you've got like the Easterlings, and then to the west you have Mordor. So it's a bit like the sort of nothing for you to do in the early turns. So what I might actually do is just play for like an hour, maybe, off camera or something after this first episode. This first episode is like setting the stage of our uh, of our Candish campaign, you know. I'll just kind of, you know, after this episode, maybe play for like half an hour to an hour off camera. Um, so we start to get into a little bit more and make some real military plays. But for now, let's go ahead and set the difficulty to very hard. And let's just go, man. I've been looking forward to playing this game again. It's been quite some time. I usually get an itch to play this game. And man, the time has come to scratch it. We'll see how far through this playthrough that we get. I think we had like 15 episodes or something of the Dunland playthrough, which was quite a lot. The episodes were a little bit long. Um, I'm going to try and avoid that in this one. Yeah, man, look at that shit. Greatest horse hatches in all of Middle-earth as well, man. Feels good when to be playing Khand. But yeah, um, I usually get like 15 episodes in one of these campaigns that I start to run out of steam a little bit, but these episodes are going to be a little bit shorter. We had some really long episodes as Dunland, and that's because the battles were so huge. I've actually scaled down the unit sizes a little bit for this playthrough. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this actually. Went ahead and scaled down the unit sizes just a little bit for this one. Um, and the idea is, you know, less laggy battles and much, much quicker battles, so. Let's see how we, uh, how we fare in this, dude. Like I said, not really used to, uh, cavalry-based factions, but how hard can it be, you know what I'm saying? I remember playing Rome Total War. I used to always like playing, uh, Scythia, you know? If that's even how you pronounce it. Horse hatches, chariots, stuff like that. Sick, man. All right, we could read all of this, but it's a lot of text, man. <laughs> I mean, the people who modded this game went to so much, like, such great lengths to really make it really massive and stuff, you know? Which I fucking love, I've got to be honest. Military report, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to read that either. Okay, man, so these are the only... Okay, yeah. So we have, like, these easternmost settlements up here, and then we have one settlement over here that borders the southeastern corner of Mordor. Do we have another one? Oh wow, we actually do have one more right here in the south as well. And we've got a bunch of units here too. In a lovely little fort. Alright man, awesome. That feels good. Alright, first things first, let me just go ahead and toggle off the fog of war because, you know, the map is so fucking huge on this that, um, I mean, I'm just going to start at the bottom corner of the map and just go, uh, just to kind of give you guys some perspective on how fucking enormous this map is. And there we go. Elves all the way up here at the top. All the way off to the side here. It's just it's just obscene how large this map is. Uh, and it just feels like a damn shame to have Fog of War on. And honestly, the scouting units, stuff like that, I don't find them that fun or that, you know, interactive in this, uh, in this game. Alright, man. First things first. We've got a decent amount of gold coming in from these settlements, which is really nice. What's our treasury looking like? Projected profits, 1.5k, roughly. Alright. We can always do better on economy. We can always do better on economy. 
So I'm literally just going to go through all of these and just set up. Oh, nice. We can just build mines here. Oh, and that's a really nice extra mine as well. Really nice extra law bond of income coming in. Skipping through all of these right now. Public order bonus. Can we build, like, a meeting hall? Yes. Building cost reduced by 10%. We'll go with that. Can I build another one? Oh, that's a warlord's hall. I can't build that. Okay. Meeting hall. And sure, grain exchange. Why not? Okay, man, do we just make some, like, military plays right away? Maybe I, like, just march straight on down here to this rebel settlement, which dominates, like, the whole southern end of, uh, of Harad. Yeah, I could make a quick play for this. I could make a quick play for this. What have they got here? Do I get to see? Just three crappy units. Okay. Okay, I've decided. I'm just gonna take, like, a bunch of riders down here so I can take this really, really quickly. Got them, got them. Togrul. What's this fella called then? Bartan. Age 19. You know what, man? We'll get him in there as well, dude. Alright, man. Nice little cavalry force. It's gonna take us a few turns to get there. But maybe we can get it before Harad, you know, sweeps down south to try and get this. It would be really nice to get that. Just steal a lovely little settlement. Alright, man, that's end turn. Yeah, man, did I mention that it feels good to be playing this game again? Feels all kinds of good. Oh my god, look at the map just changing colour there. Lots of those little tiles getting filled in. All those little settlements and provinces being taken. Jeez, man. Yeah, some previous playthroughs of this game I was playing on medium difficulty. Which apparently this mod, uh, this mod is best played on... Well very hard difficulty, so that's why we're giving it a go now. We will smite this boat. Okay, man, they're not, they're not making any moves, man. I think that we can just go for this, you know. Okay, nice. That's a meeting hall built. I believe I still need a meeting hall in some places. That's a warlord's hall. Still can't afford that, of course. What about here? Sweet. We can just queue that up, I guess. Um, Grain exchange. Increase in tradable goods. It's really hard to say. Like, it just says here, it just provides an increase in tradable goods. But tradable goods, I'm just going to show the settlement details. Like, what does that mean? Trade 952. Like, can I actually measure how much... You know what? 952. I'm going to remember that. Then I'm going to build this. And in two turns, we'll see how much this goes up. Oh, we can just see here. Like, it's got like a little faded out trade wagon right here. And that says 1030. So it approximately gives an 80 extra income, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice for a really cheap building. Alright, man. Let's go. Let's go. So, in all likelihood, I'm just gonna conquer Harad. Like, I know that I'm supposed to be on the evil side and stuff, but you know what? I like being morally ambiguous in these games. I don't just like to be like, oh, we are evil. You know, bom, 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 bom. That's not interesting to me. That's not fun, you know? Uh, so I really want to go for the gra Like, it actually makes most sense to just save a bit of gold this turn. I just want to keep on building meeting holes, then upgrade these to Warlord's Huts, because these reduce the cost of all future buildings, when you have these in a settlement. Like right here, the Warlord's Hall. 16% reduced building cost, man. And that's all this first episode is going to be, man. The setup- Oh, we're going to have one quick battle, actually, right? <gasps> Son of a bitch, man, they're starting to move out. But we have cavalry. We can beat them to it, man. We can beat them to it. <laughs> we can beat them to it. I wonder if I need any uh, diplomats, actually. In any of my cities, which I can send out and set up some trade routes. Get that income going, you know? Sweet. The Dark Lord of Mordor has awarded me with a thousand gold coins. Thank you, Sauron. What a champion. Okay. I mean, we just ready to attack that whenever, I guess, now. Um, but I sort of want to set up the Warlord's Holes before I forget. Warlord's Hole can go there. Does it matter which one I make it in? Maybe I can just about afford both. Oh man, I'm just off. Oh, but we can afford this one for some reason. This one's cheaper for some reason by it. Just a little amount. It's probably a governor's influence, right? Does this guy make buildings cheaper? Warlord Arash, who is in this settlement. 
uh, special ability serpent elixir wow special ability on the battlefield serpent elixir uh, has one charge duration of 60 seconds 75% probability to stun enemy units for 3 to 5 seconds Jesus man And a hun plus 150% on army combat effectiveness? What, also for 50 seconds? That is insane! This guy's a god, man! Yes, no. This guy is the shit! Um, a sense of justice, blah 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 blah. I mean, he probably has something that's making him, um, able to construct buildings while he's in a settlement a bit cheaper. Whatever, we'll queue it up. Okay, man. Now it's time to save, just in case the game crashes, because it's a bit of an unstable mod sometimes. See if this is our canned campaign. And they don't even have walls in the settlement! Which is why I only attack with horsemen, so... What the... How the fucking hell does the game think that they're... They, they have re They really have that good of a chance against me? Really? Okay, this is interesting. So the game thinks that they basically outpower me. Almost like 3 to 1, you know? Huh. Let's go, man. Let's do it. <laughs> let's give it a try. I can't see how that can be true. I can't see how that can be... Oh, no. Do they have a Muma kill here? They might have a Muma kill. This is the Mumak, uh, Mumakil settlement. Can I see? Do I get to see? I don't get to see yet. Yeah, this settlement right here is the settlement that Harad has to capture in order to start building Mumakil, which are the giant four-tusked elephants. In case you're not familiar with the lingo. Uh, my UI is a little fucked right now. Let me just... I was recording stuff for thumbnails and stuff, you know? Oh, that's still not correct. What am I doing? Um, unit cards. I need them on show. Okay, there's my unit cards. My map slides in. Yeah, they totally have a move or kill, dude. There's no way I should be outpowered this much. Okay, so we've got some crappy little raiders. We've got some mounted arches, which could prove very, very useful against move kill. Can they use fire arrows? They can't. More mounted arches. General's bodyguard. Okay. And more horse archers. Okay, I just have like so many fucking horse archers, man. Let's let's break them into two groups. We'll have the two generals staying together and these units. And these are my melee. They have two Mumakil! Yes! Yes, just let these assholes come out for these guys look badass, man. Yeah, we'll let these guys come out first. I don't wanna- I don't wanna fight the Mumakil just yet, if I can avoid them, you know? Okay. We're gonna give them the old bolt cutter maneuver. I mean, they're making a big, big mistake if they push out into us here. And I'm gonna have to kite the shit out of these Mumakil with these horse arches, man. Man, I'm not used to managing cavalry units, you know? And I've got like the hardest fucking cavalry sh battle ever. Alright. Light him up, boys. Light him up. Let's go. Storm of arrows. Pew, 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 pew. Killed almost nothing. You know what? Oh, I can't form a shooting circle with these guys? Jesus, man, these guys are kind of quick. Yeah, they don't know what to do, man. They're taking a lot of fire. Look at all the arrows, dude. I'm just gonna kite them around a little. My guys over here are still shooting at them, even though they're like backing away, as you can see. Just totally fucking badass as hell. Boom, 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 boom. Kite them around, kite them around. These guys are having a whale of a time over here in their shooting circle. Pew, 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 pew. I fucking love it, man. Whoa, how are you guys dying? These guys are missile. They're throwing spears? Motherfuckers, man. Back away, back away, back away. Don't get caught out. These guys are only light cavalry, man. Just leave that guy behind. Fuck him. Okay. I didn't realize that they actually had some melee units over here. 
You guys shoot them. Let's go, boys! Fucking slam! Uh. Okay, now leg it. Because they will actually lose, man, if they stay in this uh, close quarters combat, you know? These guys still having a great time. You know what? Stop running around like that. It might not be helping. What? Jesus! I lost like a small bunch of men. I'm like, we're like equal men on losses already. Oh god, man. You guys are kiting as well, yeah? Oh my god, I'm gonna be low on ammo, dude. How the hell am I gonna kill these Moomakil? How the hell am I gonna kill these Moomaks, dude? Fuck. Just kiting these fuckers, man. I don't want to get caught up by these psychopaths, you know? Go, 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 go. Another hit and run again. Another hit and run. Yes. There's the hit. Now for the run. Get the fuck out of there, man. Before you get wrecked. I still lost like a bunch of guys, man. Oh my god, here come the Mooma kill. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Can you guys use fire arrows? No. Okay. Just start shooting at them then, I guess. Like, my dudes are like fucking running out of ammo, dude. I'm not even close. Oh shit. Run, you idiots. Run! The fucking charging! Yes. Yes, the movie killer all bloody. That's what we want to see, man. Keep shooting. What the hell's going on over here, then? Okay. Oh my god. Come on, man. Just bring down the fucking Moomix, man. We have such, like, such much more of a chance, you know? These guys are almost out of ammo. Oh, God! These guys are out of ammo. Oh, not quite. Okay, they, they are now. They are now, man. I really, really don't want to get caught up, man, by these fucking... God damn it, dude. Okay, so these guys are just literally little axe men now. They're just, they're just taking out axes. You know what? We should actually group these two guys together now. You guys get over here, get shooting. Okay, the Moomer kill have retreated. Maybe I can get like a quick little hit and run here. You guys slow it down. Wait for these guys to charge in alongside you. Okay, I mean this is fucking risky, man. Okay, nice. The generals as well have also run out of ammo now in their bulls, so... We can hit them here as they're trying to escape. Hopefully pick some of them off, you know? Let's go, let's go! They're gone, man. The Moomix are coming back, though. They're coming back. These guys are just running, man. I love it. Kill them all quickly. These guys are just legging it, man. You know what? Don't charge here, actually. See if we can... Man, who the hell's blowing that horn, dude? This sounds fucking sick. See if we can stop these guys from running. Let's go, let's go. That's a good hit, man. It's a good hit. Man, I just heard the totally, like, uh, south run horn there as well. That's so sick. That's so fucking sick. They're routing! Kill them! Kill him as they run! Slay them all! Kill that little asshole! Wrecked! Okay, man, okay. Just the Oliphants to go, man. Just <laughs> this is supposed to be a nice, relaxing first episode. It's gonna be like the hardest battle ever. You know what? There's no point wasting time, actually. I should just go. I should just go. If I can just swarm them, we have a chance. I don't have any more arrows, man. Everyone's out of ammo, you know? Actually, hit the one at the back, man. See if we can just, like, swarm them. Go kill! Stab it! Oh god! They're not dead, right? It just knocked them down. We have lost half of our men. Oh my god, it just killed them all. There's no way! There's no way! Run! Run! Fucking run! <laughs> oh shit! Curse the sun that 
hands on our disgrace. Like it. We must turn the wind of battle. I don't think there's... I don't think there's any way to win. I mean, I could sacrifice one of my units to see if I can just pick any of them off, but... I mean, they're all covered in blood and stuff, but I don't know... I don't want to lose all these riders, man. I'm hitting withdraw right now. Get ourselves off the map. God damn it, man, this settlement. But you know what? If I actually am able to capture the settlement, I wonder if Harad knows, like the AI knows that they need it for the Mumakil. Because I can't build Mumakil, but Harad can. How much would they be willing to pay me if I could, you know, get the settlement and give it to them? Get ourselves off the map, man. There it is, man. God damn Moomakil. God damn Moomakil. <laughs> How the hell am I going to beat them? I mean, I killed all of their infantry. That's big. They don't regenerate those. Maybe if I just maintain a siege on them. We are beaten. Yes, we are, man. Orders? Yes, we are. Okay, we do have some more units up here. Let's get these guys down here as well now. I mean, we basically committed to tr trying to take this shit now, you know? Do I have any riders nearby that I could send this way as well? There's another general here. No riders here. Man, I'm like out of riders! Okay. Where can I train these guys? Can I train these guys here in uh, Chelka? I can retrain the Marauders, but that's all. Orders? I mean, I still have quite a lot of horse archers. You know what, I'm going to send the Marauders back up here to be retrained. Oh my god. Looney. Get away from that plate. She's eating some of the spare ham that was left behind. From today's dinner. And I say dinner, but you know, we ate at like midnight. Feels, feels good. Orders? Okay, yeah. These guys need to go on back, man. Nice, we got the mines. Okay, we're making so much g now per turn. Okay. So they only have enough food to last two turns. Uh, let's lift the siege for now. Because if they actually match out with two Mumikil, I'll just have to run away, and that would suck a lot. It would suck a lot. Uh, okay. Warlord's Hall. And that's about it. Okay, we've got some reinforcements coming down, man. Fucking Mumakil, dude. Oh my god. I didn't realize, I completely forgot actually. I played so many Harad campaigns, but it was all such a long time ago. Like when I first got this mod, all I played was Harad, you know. I love playing in the Harad room, dude. The South runs, you know. It's fucking sweet. Warlord Arash. Man! She's actually not bad looking at all, man. Look at that. She's a dish, you know what I'm saying? And yet, when you play as Dunland, like I'm over Dunland right now, Dunlarak and all that, when Dunland, when when there's like a betrothal for one of your Dunlanding generals, it's literally a just a female dwarf with a beard. You know? Uh, yeah, you want us to capture Ankaragmia? I know, Sauron, I'm working on it. Calm down, man. There's only so much a Southron can do, you know? Coming of age. Ooh. Who come of age? He's 16. Holy shit, man. Look at that beard. Tolui. Tolui. Okay. Tolui seems like a good guy. Seems like a dependable general, you know? Guess go and stand there. Uh, what else can I build? So we're building the warlords thing there. Uh, oh, wow, I can actually build mines there soon. That's sweet, man. Uh, and we can also build mines here. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't afford it even if I wait till next turn, though, is the problem. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, we can. Okay, is there anything really cheap that I can build? <laughs> Just, like, super fucking cheap. 470 gold there? Let's do that. And I should still be able to afford it. Like, come next time. Okay. 
continue on. Our guys marching all over the place, replenishing our forces a bit. I really, really want to take Ankaragmi, dude. I gotta do it. Oh shit, man, we've been recording for like nearly 25 minutes. Okay. That means that it's almost our time to wrap this episode up. And in fact, I think I will. I think I'll go ahead and wrap this episode up just now. Um, because, like I said, I don't want these episodes to be too long. I don't want these episodes to be all long. Um, match these guys in here. Okay, are we almost ready to try again? What have they got the Trollman Warriors back for? Man, it's gonna take a fucking... It's gonna take a legion, man, to capture this place. Step archers, or steep arch Oh, maybe these guys can use fire arrows. Yes, they can use flaming missiles. Those are really good against Mimikil. Okay, let's do that. And before I forget, I'm gonna build the mine. Um... Not this one, it was the other one, right? There it is. Plus 555 gold per turn. That's gonna be sweet, man, once that's made. So much gold, man, so much gold. Alright, I'm gonna save. Cheers for stopping by, everybody. When I next try and take on the Moomakill, that's when I'll be starting the next episode. The next episode will be a slightly, you know, bolstered army here with these two generals, Bing and Bang, Togrul and Batan. I like Batan, and Batan seems kinda cool, man. He's a harsh ruler, he's fucking crazy. Um, and yeah, that's when we'll start the next episode. I'm gonna play like half an hour now off camera just building up some economy and stuff like that and I'll rejoin you guys once the action kicks back up. So, hope you're all enjoying the series being back. Hope you're all looking forward to the next one. I'll see all you guys just a tad bit later.